If you want to learn how to do a handstand within the next 30 days, keep watching. I started my calisthenic challenge about a month ago and I have so much more to learn, one of which was a handstand. So I was like, let's just prioritize that and just get that out of the way so I can move on to other exercises. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. Depending on your fitness level, you can use the next exercises either as a real workout or a warm up for the next exercises. So let's just assume you've never done a handstand, you don't know if your shoulders are capable of actually holding your entire body weight up in the air. So I would suggest doing this. Before I show you this real quick, I while editing the video, I was like, I'm not sure if I should put that clip in there, but it was so freaking cute and it wasn't planned. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave it in there. It doesn't have any audio, so I'll probably show it right now. Um, my girlfriend and my dog came out while I was filming this part and they were just, both of them were so sweet. So I just wanna put it in there. Anyways, the exercise that I wanna show you that, it, that you can use either as a warm up or a workout in itself is kneeling resistance band shoulder press. So if your shoulders are not ready yet for a handstand, this is a great exercise to get started. I would suggest three sets of 10 reps with like a two to three second hold on top. If you think your shoulders are getting ready or they are warmed up, you can move on to the next exercise, which is basically a leaning exercise. All you have to do is lean forward and put more pressure, more tension on your shoulders, just so your body can get used to the entire weight on your hands. This exercise is really important because you slowly put more pressure on your hands to really prepare them for the upcoming stress, which you are probably not used to. When you feel comfortable leaning and holding this position for about 30 seconds, you're ready to move on to the leaning handstand. The main purpose of this exercise is to build the strength in your shoulders to support your body. This is not an exercise to work on perfect form. As you can see, without the wall, I would immediately fall over since I'm not balanced whatsoever. Three sets of a maximum hold is sufficient in my opinion. After the wall handstand, you can move on to the frog stance. This is an amazing exercise because finally you get challenged with two things, not only the strength component of the frog stance, so your shoulders will burn like crazy, but at the same time, your coordination will kick in because you have to balance yourself in this position. The goal is to find the perfect balance and hold for as long as you can. Three sets of a maximum hold is great. If you can hold the frog stance for at least 30 seconds and you feel comfortable moving on, the next step is basically just swinging up your legs. With this exercise, you need to try to catch yourself without falling over. And don't worry if it doesn't work for the first time, you will have to fail to succeed. Repetition is key here. The more you try, the better your coordination will advance. After I was able to throw my body up there and catch myself in the right position and balance it for a little bit, I started experimenting with different poses. I had straight legs, uh, open legs, tucked legs. So I was just playing with it and that's when it really gets fun. Each successful handstand will bring you closer to the perfect handstand. With that, I mean you will start to focus on different things such as your breathing, your tension in your body, the position of your toes, and much more. One more thing, to strengthen my upper body, I also included handstand walks, which was extremely helpful because I just built more muscle memory, I guess, and my strength in my shoulders were just like, you know, good enough to actually hold myself up there for at least 40, 50 seconds of just walking because the balancing part is not as important if you like, if you want to stand super still. So with walking, you just use your legs a little bit and it looks, looks a little weird, but it actually helps a lot. And after you go through these parts, in the end, at some point, you'll be able to hold a handstand. I have to admit, working on handstands is a very addictive uh, hobby to do because you see, if you're consistent with it, you will see a great progress within a short period of time. I personally worked on my handstands every single day for the past two and a half weeks now and I'm very happy with the results so far. I have much to learn. I'm far away from a perfect handstand, but Again, two and a half weeks, not too bad. I'm really happy with it. If you are a beginner, do not rush yourself. Just, just because I did it in 14 days, don't expect the same thing to happen to you. Just start with part one, focus on each exercise and make sure you master every single exercise before you advance and move on to the next one. I promise you, if you're consistent and if you put time into every single exercise, at one point, might be 30 days, and I'm pretty sure you can do it within 30 days. Might be 40 days for you, it doesn't matter. Don't pressure yourself and don't put a limit on it. Just focus on each part and then advance, and at one point, you'll be able to do the handstand.